Hey guys, what's up? I hope you are doing well. Hey, I got a great blessing yesterday. I spent the day at a hospital, uh, most of the day at a hospital with a loved one uh, relative. And I got on the elevator and this guy got on the elevator and he goes, hey. And I said, hey. And he goes, hey, I want you to know I watch Daymaker every day. I was like, wow, that's awesome. He goes to another church in our city. Just an amazing thing just to keep you going, right? God always just gives you these little uppers to to just, you know, keep you going, keep you strong. So I appreciate that comment. I hope it's making a difference in your life. Today, we're going to talk about forgiveness. Yes, Pastor Tom, you're going there. Yes, forgiveness. How you get stuck, uh, just not letting go, how you get stuck in this. Now, I really like to say that forgiveness puts you, puts you in a freeze moment where you're, you're frozen. Even in your spiritual growth, you're kind of frozen because you've got this hanging thing over you a thing hanging over you called unforgiveness. Now, I want to bring some perspective to what unforgiveness really is. First of all, forgiveness never means forgetting. It doesn't mean you have to forget what happened. But I will say this, that God can take misery from moments. So when you choose to forgive, forgiveness is the first step towards your healing. Uh, I think we have a tendency to not forgive because we feel like we're letting the person off the hook for what they did to us. That's not true at all. God is the one who brings about their recompense. That's not something you and I have to do. What do we have to do? We have to do what God says to do and what God's word says to do. So, you know, forgetting doesn't mean the circumstances change. It just means that you view it different. You grace the situation over. Forgiveness doesn't magically wipe away difficult feelings. And then, and people seem to think it's like, well, I thought I'd feel better if I forgive. The truth is you may not. You may even feel worse about it. But at the same time, you're free from all the consequences that come from unforgiveness. Next, number two, forgiveness doesn't mean endorsement. Another mis misconception is hard for people to truly forgive and move on is that they assume forgiveness implies that you are somehow okay with what they did to you. Again, not true. We don't whitewash what happened. We just move on in the process. There's two big points to this. The first one is God says, Jesus said, if we don't forgive, our sins are not forgiven. Why did he say that? Because the truth of the matter is you and I, either in thought or deed, have done far worse to people than what has been done to us. And the other, the other point is we're all on equal terms. We're all sinners. We all fail we all do things that need to be forgiven. How many times in a day do I have to ask Charlotte for, to tell her I'm sorry because I need to be forgiven for my attitude or the way that I responded, right? This is just part of life. So forgiveness is a process. It's not a decision. It's not a destination. It's actually a process. But I want to say it is a decision because the decision to forgive is the most important start of how forgiveness begins and how you receive the grace to, for that forgiveness to go on. So it, it is a process. It's not a feeling. That's my last point. It's not forgetting. It's not something that you, you, you think you're going to feel better about. So remember that. These things are important. You may even continue to dealing with the person who wronged you. In any case, it's important to acknowledge that forgiveness is something you continue. When that thing comes up again, what do you do? You forgive again. It's not a feeling. It is a commitment. I'm committed to, to forgiving this person. So when that comes up and you go, Ugh, I forgive them. You may go six months, Ugh, I forgive them. Forgiveness is complex. It's intertwined with our religious, our morals, the scripture, our faith, our beliefs. But Jesus was clear about it. He was binary about it. Jesus said, if you don't forgive, you're not going to be forgiven. That's a big, big thing. Forgiveness is, let me enforce it, not a feeling. Don't confuse the act of forgiveness with an expected emotional outcome. How we end up feeling is a consequence of forgiveness, not forgiveness itself. How we end up feeling is a consequence of our choice to forgive, not forgiveness itself. So listen, you know, you, you might think, well, I should have peace about it. Listen, peace is not a guarantee when you choose to forgive. People tend to feel better as a result of forgiveness, but it's a mistake 
to expect a certain feeling, all right? The greatest feeling you're going to have about forgiveness is that you did what God said for you to do. And that's where your peace comes in. That's where joy can be returned. And that's where you're going to be able to take the misery out of what the moment, however, when the moment the person wronged you, God will remove the misery from you. Hey, I hope this helps. I hope it makes a difference. I've got a great Friday planned for you. I hope you'll join me tomorrow right here on Daymaker because I want to add some more value to your life. I ask that you have a great day. I'm thinking about you, appreciating you. Hey, we had over 500 views on one of the videos this week in one day. So we are moving forward together as a family. The day drink, babe, the... The Daymaker Journal is going forward. So we are continuing to write that journal. It's going to be prolific when I finish it in the next 60 days. I keep pushing it out because I want it to be really, really awesome. Our new online class comes out on March the 1st. I hope you'll dive in, dive in with this for that. And I look forward to seeing you. And my tongue will work better tomorrow. I look forward to seeing you right here on Daymaker tomorrow morning. God bless. Have a super day.